Hi, Jeff Demore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today we'll be demonstrating our adjustable anti-wrinkle system with six inch face. We have an unwind system here, so we unwind film and we go across some idler rolls. We go through the adjustable anti-wrinkle system, across a couple more idler rolls, and then onto a rewind. One of the things that I did on this machine is I skewed this idler roll to this roll. So if you look very closely, you'll see that this mounting block it has a relatively large distance to the end of this frame. But then if you look across the machine, you'll see the mounting block on the other side comes up flush to the frame. So this idler roll is not parallel to this roll by, by a lot, by quite a, quite a distance. So what that's going to do is it's going to build wrinkles into the material and then my system, you'll see the uh, adjustable anti-wrinkle system pull those wrinkles out. Um, so this is the adjustable anti-wrinkle system and along with the adjustable anti-wrinkle system we have our optional mounting bracket. The optional mounting bracket has a couple of features. Number one, the mounting bracket has a nut on the top and when you loosen this nut you can then slide the adjustables where you want them in your machine. So if you have varying web widths, you can adjust very easily for varying web widths when you have this mounting bracket. Once you get them set where you want them in your machine, you simply tighten up the nut and they stay put. In addition, the adjustable, uh, the, the optional mounting bracket has uh, an angle adjustment. This angle adjustment has a dial indicator and it has an adjustment knob here. So when I turn this knob, you'll see I can change the angle very easily of the adjust-to-pull system. Um, the reason you want a angle adjustment is the amount of anti-wrinkle effect on your web or the amount, of, the amount of aggression of these units is directly proportional to the amount of angle you have. The more angle you have, the more um, anti-wrinkle effect you'll have on the web, the harder you pull on each edge. These units operate based on the web handling principle that a web will seek a 90 degree angle to a roll and its entry span to that roll. What we do is each of the nib sets have rollers that are loaded together. One is rubber, one is metal. And um, we pinch the web's edge between the nib set on this side and we pinch the web's edge between the nib set on the opposite side. That puts each of the web's edges in traction with each of the nib sets. What we do is we angle those two nip sets away from each other. So this edge now, because it's in traction with this nip set, is going to try to maintain a 90 degree angle to this angle of the nip set. So this web is going to be pulled in this direction. I'm sorry, this web edge is going to be pulled in this direction. And this edge is going to be pulled in this direction. So we're with, these, with this system, we're effectively pulling on each edge of the web to pull wrinkles out. And they are a very aggressive anti-wrinkle device. The air-loaded units have uh, an air cylinder built into them, so they're very easy to operate. You can very easily thread the material through them. There is no wrap angle when you're using adjustables. The web is fed straight in and straight out again. But when you go to thread this unit up, you can simply open and close them with this valve. In addition, the air-loaded units have a pressure regulator built onto them, so by adjusting this pressure regulator, you can adjust how much air pressure is in this cylinder. Currently we have about 40 PSI on each side in the cylinder on each, on each of the nip sets. The reason you might want the air uh, regulator, that pressure adjustment, is if you have very delicate webs, you might want to turn that air pressure down so that uh, uh, you, you don't distort or crush the edge of the material. On the, um, on the opposite end, if you have a very stiff material, you may want to turn that air pressure up to grip harder to pull wrinkles out. So go ahead and turn the machine on. We're going to turn it on. And you're going to see wrinkles across these rollers. Quite a few wrinkles in this section here because, again, this roll is skewed to, these, to this roll. They're not parallel. And then you're also going to see a lot of wrinkles in this section here where I built the wrinkles in, you can see wrinkles going uh, through the adjust-to-pulls and then onto the rewind. So right now the adjust-to-pulls are not on, so we're going to turn them on and you're going to see the material flatten right out. So go ahead and turn on that side. 
And now you see all the wrinkles removed in the output side of the adjuster poles. This section is very, very flat going into your process. So you can see wrinkles coming into the adjuster poles. You see wrinkles going across the top. You'll see wrinkles coming off this roll. You see some wrinkles in this section. But the anti-wrinkle anti effect on the web starts in this section. So in the lead-in section to the adjuster poles is where the, the web starts to get flat. And then on the output side is where the web is completely flat going into your process. We can also run the machine at a faster speed, so you can go ahead and speed that up. And you can see that the web is nice and flat coming out of the adjustment. You can see there's some severe wrinkles going across, but on the alpha side of the adjustable is very flat. In addition to the uh, air-loaded adjustables, we do have a spring-loaded model. Uh, which I'm going to demonstrate in a separate video. The uh, operating principle is the same, it's just a different method of loading the nipple together. I appreciate your time, thank you for watching the video.